Periscope, what's up? Greg Howes, Wednesday morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Tammy, I see you. Good morning. Little Rock, Arkansas is here. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Got the coffee going this morning. Got the caffeine going. We're moving and grooving. Got the juicer going. Ethel in Memphis, good morning. <laughs> Earlene, good morning. Columbia, South Carolina. Olympia Fields. Got the green tea going. Chicago's here. Lafayette, Louisiana. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Muncie, Indiana. Yukon is here. You're in Long Island today. Wow, okay. Chicago Heights, the locals are here. Philadelphia. Good morning, good morning. Arizona is here. Wow. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for the hearts. Las Vegas, good morning. High energy. High energy Wednesday. We hit the midweek point. We're ready to go. West Virginia. Von Hamilton in Houston. Ready for the Super Bowl down there. Bluebell. All right. Warrior Bride Joy. Who is that? High energy, yeah. Good morning, good morning. Oh, Bluebell, Pennsylvania. Okay. Okay. Beaumont, Texas. All right. Boston is here. Wow, Long Island, New York. Got the East Coast represented this morning. New England. You guys rooting for the Patriots up there? Are the Patriots going to do it? Allentown, Pennsylvania. That's Billy Joel country, right? Good morning, yeah. Pat's Nation, yeah, 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 yeah. Toronto is here. Toronto is here. God bless you guys. Welcome to Leaderscope. It's Wednesday morning. I'm Greg Howes. Glad to have you with me this morning. Good morning, Bolingbrook. The Pringles are here. Desmond and Tanya Pringle in L.A., Los Angeles. Spartan Country is here. Good morning. Good morning. All right. God bless you guys. Thanks for being with me today for these few minutes as we start the day together. Cornerstone people, and if you are in the area, south suburbs, northwest Indiana, we have Cornerstone Institute tonight, 7 o'clock p.m. sharp. We have classes that we're offering, tremendous classes, great teachers, great curriculum. And so we'd love to have you come and be a part of that this evening at 7 p.m. We'll have you out of here by about 8.30 p.m. to get the kids home, get them to bed. Also, Institute for the kids as well. Kids have some... Uh, classes that they are taking as well so it's a lot of fun for the kids so uh, we we invite you to come be a part of it tonight seven o'clock p.m cornerstone institute cornerstone people i want to see you here all right i want to continue this morning talking about this kingly dimension that we have in our lives the kingly dimension that god has placed within us good morning atlanta we finally got some falcon people here all right the falcons are represented Atlanta, the ATL. Um, <clears throat> Proverbs 16, 15. In the light of the king's face is life, and his favor is like a cloud. His favor is like a cloud of the latter rain. Proverbs 25 and verse 2. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the glory of kings is to search out a matter. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 4. Where the word of a king is there is power. And I love this one, Jeremiah 50 and verse 41, many kings shall be raised up from the ends of all the earth. Many kings shall be raised up from the ends of the earth. Well, we are living in that time now where kings are being raised up by the power of the living God. Now, this kingly dimension is all about leading. It's about being elevated. It's about going higher. That's what the kingly dimension is about. 
It's about you operating at a high level of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It's about having access to places that you would not normally have access to. That's the kingly dimension. And it's about realizing the possessions you have, realizing the resources that you have available to you, uh, both in the spirit and in the natural. You have spiritual resources and natural resources. Kings provide leadership. Kings make clear solutions for big problems. Kings accelerate the discovery and the release of resources for people to benefit from. And kings form strategic alliances. And in those strategic alliances, there's increased influence and there's an increased impact on the world around us. The kingly dimension is what we are operating in. Now, I want you to understand today, in this kingly dimension, that there is a movement of the power of God in our lives to cause us to be significant in this life. God is, is designing your life to be significant and to have a significant impact on the world around you. Genesis 45, part of the story of Joseph in the Old Testament, Genesis chapter 45, verses 8 and 9, Joseph is speaking to his brothers, and he says, It was not you who sent me here, but God. He's referring to his time in Egypt. Now watch, not, watch his terminology. God has made me a father to Pharaoh and Lord of all his house and a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. Hurry and go up to my father and say to him, Thus says your son Joseph, God has made me Lord of all Egypt. Come down to me, do not tarry. So notice those, those descriptive phrases that, jo that Joseph uses he is a father to Pharaoh, a lord of all Pharaoh's house, a ruler throughout the land of Egypt, and lord of all Egypt. So this is describing Joseph's significance, his purpose, his, his uniqueness, his meaning in the land of Egypt and the surrounding territories. Joseph says he was a father to Pharaoh. Now in this kingly dimension, you can be a father or a mother to someone. You can operate as a spiritual father, a spiritual mother in someone's life. We have a whole generation of millennials right now that are looking for fatherhood. They're looking for motherhood. They're looking for wise counsel. They're looking for somebody that is authentic and will have an authentic impact in their lives. So that's one place that we can advance in. This area of being a father or a mother to someone. That's part of the kingly dimension. Then being Lord of Pharaoh's house. Being Lord of Pharaoh's house. You can lead a house. The kingly dimension puts you in charge. The kingly dimension makes you the principal one. And so whatever house you find yourself in, you can lead in that house. The king has the final say. And you can have the final say in the house in which God places you. Then Joseph said he was a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. You can exercise influence in your land. Influence in your land. The land that God has placed you in. The land that God has given you as a responsibility. You can exercise influence and significance in your land. In your land in your inheritance, in your land of promise. And then Joseph said he was Lord of all Egypt. Lord of all Egypt. You can occupy, you can occupy a place of influential dominance. God wants to give that to you. It's part of the kingly dimension where you can dominate in your field. You can dominate in your skill level. You can dominate on your job. You can dominate in your calling. It's by the power of the living God who lives within you. Dominance that comes in the form of servanthood, serving other people, being good to other people, blessing other people, being kind to other people. And out of that action of servanthood and humility, you rise in influential dominance. Andy Stanley says, everyone ends up somewhere. 
but few people end up somewhere on purpose. I want us to be the kind of people that end up somewhere on purpose. And I'm telling you, this kingly dimension is going to help us get there. Significance, God raising you up in significance, is a threefold movement in your life. A threefold movement in your life. The first movement is having an excellent spirit. Daniel chapter 6 describes Daniel as having an excellent spirit. And God has put an excellent spirit in your life. The word excellent is the uh, word yatir, Y-A-T-E-E-R. Yatir, it means the preeminent place. It means that which juts out farther. So there's something about your life that's going to be obvious to others. It's going to jut out farther than others. It's like a... a like a coastline jutting out. It's like a mountain peak cutting out. Mediocre in Latin means halfway up the mountain. We don't want to just settle for being mediocre. We don't want to just go halfway up. We want to go all the way up. We want the yatir. We want the excellence. We want the preeminence. So you're rising to the top and you're assigned sphere of influence. Your place of influence. You are occupying a place of prominence. A significance manifests in your life. You're piercing the darkness that is, that is dominating the environment. And you're moving with this kingly dimension to rise higher and higher. Excellence is your portion. Then along with excellence, having an excellent spirit, there is an enlisting in assignment. Joshua chapter 1 is the call of God on Joshua, where God enlists him. Moses, my servant, is dead. Joshua, now it's your turn. You rise up. People who are truly consecrated to God are receiving assignments from him. And God is inviting his consecrated people to rise up in partnership with him and move with him. It's all about knowing what he is about to do and then getting in with him and partnering with him in what he is about to do. And he's going to give you creative ideas in that. He's going to give you significant thoughts in that. So once that starts flowing in your life, don't back off. Don't deny it. Don't pull back. Don't withdraw. But engage. Continue to press in and move and exercise significance in the field, in the land, in the house in which God has placed you. You are there for a reason. Your creativity, your innovation is going to move through you. It's going to manifest to benefit that place, to make it better, to bring about improvements. So don't you dare back off. You've got to continue to press in, press into that place of assignment and be engaged in that assignment. So we have excellence and then we have an assignment. The third movement of significance in your life is a movement of favor. A movement of favor. Favor is the ability to um, make an impression that sticks in such a way that other people are drawn toward you and your cause. You might call it the stickiness factor. There's going to be a charisma about you that draws people like a magnet, and they're going to be pulled towards you, and they're going to respond to you and respond to what you are carrying in your life and they're not going to be able to get away from it. They're going to stick. That's the favor of God on your life. It's the attraction of God in you. It's what releases influence through you. Other people will be inclined to like you. And other people will cooperate with you. When you are operating in this movement of favor. So it's not like you have to fight for something. But the favor of God opens up the way for people to welcome you and like you and accept what you are bringing. And so you can manifest that significance in a powerful way through your life. Favor is going to become evident in your life when you begin to walk in maturity as a son and a daughter of God. Favor will manifest as you grow in maturity. If we are thinking like orphans, and we're behaving like orphans, then we're not going to be able to live on the maturity level that attracts favor. It's just not going to happen. 
So significance is going to move through our lives with this kingly dimension. And it's going to come with an excellent spirit. It's going to come with being engaged in an assignment. And it's going to come in the flow of favor through your life. The flow of favor through your life. That's God's will for us. It's God's plan for us as we operate in this kingly dimension. In the kingly dimension. God has reserved it for us. It is wonderful. It is powerful. Hallelujah. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for being on with me today. I'm grateful for you. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for inviting people to come on. I release that kingly dimension to be a mighty force in your life. Live in it today. Manifest it today. Manifest significance everywhere you go with everything you're doing. You are significant in this life. You are significant in the house in which God has placed you. So manifest that significance. Manifest that influence today. Don't you dare back off. Move in. Be the preeminent one. And watch and see that kingly dimension flow through your life. Hallelujah. It's going to be a great day today. You've got open doors. You've got opportunities. You've got divine connections. Divine resources coming into your life. You have favor with God and man. God bless you so much. Wherever there's sickness and disease operating in your life, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke it. I break its power and I command it to go now. I break the power of infirmity in the name of Jesus. You will not be weak and you will not be feeble. There will be no lack of strength in your life. I declare wholeness, strength, healing, victory to you now in the name of Jesus. All right, have a great day today. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I'll talk to you soon.